Hello everyone, it's Veronica and uh, today I wanted to show you the Terra Oracle deck. I'm not gonna chat too much about myself in this one because this deck has uh, 100 cards and I want to show you as many of them as I can. This is the box for the Terra Oracle. I got this I believe Etsy. These are the sides, the top of the box. And it's a black and white oracle with animals. So I received this recently. I ordered it maybe a month ago. Uh, I wanted to see if it was some kind of like, um, I just looked at it briefly yesterday. I wanted to see if there, um, if it is in uh, like a alphabetical order, based on the names of the cards, and it is, except that the A starts at the bottom, that's that mark right there. So I'll show you some of the cards. I will be um, they're very slippery. Harpy, harpy eagle. Um, I will be um, also reading, at the end I'll pull a card, I'll um, shuffle them and I'll pull a card. And I also got the guidebook because I love guidebooks. And it's really interesting because this guidebook has a larger image of the card. Sorry. So let's say this one, Barn Owl. And then it has about a page of content. And it has like different kind of characteristics, I guess, or titles. And then it goes into um, a paragraph or so on that characteristic of each animal. So it's a really nice book. I like it table of contents um, she goes through the sorry the author is so there's two authors um, Lucas Keown and Lindsay Cummins if I'm saying their names right here Le Lucas and Lindsay Clements. Um, and this is a project by Louisville Creatives. So they are part of the Louisville Creatives. And on the back of the notebook, it says, oh, sorry, guidebook, it says, the Terra Oracle consists of 100 cards that help you hone your instincts, reflect on yourself, and uncover uh, truths about who you are. Um, I might have got it not on Etsy. I don't know. It says that you can get it on thirdhmarket.com right here. I'll put the link in the, below. Um, so it, it takes, it has the elements here fire, earth, water, air. Nice little drawings for them. Uh, I'm thinking that, it, that I don't know that much about this deck, but I'm thinking they might divide, be dividing these um, animals into their elements. Maybe, maybe not. Then it goes, the booklet goes a little bit into the ecosystem on this page here. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize it has um, spreads, card spreads. That's cool. One card, three card, five cards. Has a Celtic cross, of course, but it also has moon phases spread right here. That's cool. Jungian archetype starts with the hero, the magician, the rebel, orphan, the jester, lover, 
Nice, that is here. And astrological spread. So cool, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and then it goes into the cards and it starts with Advark, first card, which the deck came with this Advark. It's so slippery <laughs> at, the, at the end here. And they're slippery and they're very thin, the cards. I'm not going to bend them. I cringe when people bend the card really strong to show. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a linen finish, linen type paper. Um, but that's about as much as I'm going to bend it. <laughs> Um, so it's thin, but I think it's durable. I'm not sure. It's about the size of an oracle, but, or, or sorry, of an um, tarot deck, I would say. I have the Modern Witch Tarot here with me. Yeah, it's pretty much it's just a hair. You can't even see, like, it's literally... Yeah, if I hold them like this, there's no give. In terms, this the um, the oracle is just a hair width taller. That's it. You can see over here. That's it. Very a little bit taller. That's it. So that's nice. So, yeah, let's show you some of the cards. It starts with the Y for Yak. <laughs> oh, I, it also came with this, I guess for people that don't buy the um, booklet, uh, the deck came with this sheet, which it got ripped up, unfortunately. It was not packaged inside the box. I mean, inside the card box, it was packaged in the main box, and somehow it got damaged and ripped up. Otherwise, I think it would have been fine, but it's it's a nice note, like, um, sorry, like just a little bit of um, explanation on the animals. For example, the orb weaver, it has imagination as the main word and then creation wonder bringing to life possibility the unreal illusion um, visualization so i don't even know if the big book has that yeah so this is a little bit different than the guidebook itself so i'm gonna have to uh, maybe scan this and um, have another copy for myself through my printer because of the little damage here yeah so this is how it came um, folded so I'm, I'll be keeping this as well all right let's show you some cards they're very slippery so I'm gonna have to Yuck. Wood mouse. I didn't know of the wood mouse. Woodpecker. So we on the W. Um, named animals, creatures. Weasel. Wasp. It does have the meaning, uh, like the main energy, I guess, of the animal here. This one says affliction. Walrus. And it says vulnerability. The wallaby. That has leadership. The vulture.
He has adversity. Toucan, I think I'm saying it right. The toucan, you have talent. The toad. Greed. The three toad sloth, recuperation. The Tasmanian Devil, Judgment. Um, the Tardigrade, <laughs> might not be saying it right, I know what this is. The Tardigrade, Resiliency. Stingray, the Stingray we have balance on the top. The Stink Bug, we have resistance. The Squirrel, preparation. My nickname was Squirrel for years while I grew up back home in Romania. All the kids used to call me squirrel. <laughs> I used to climb over trees and buildings and hop and jump and just everywhere. I'm just watching my phone, my work phone kind of calls coming in, but I set it straight to voicemail for the vacation time, so, but they just still pop on my phone, so they distracted me for a little bit. The Silk Moth, Conviction. The Siamese, the Siamese cat. Mystery. The shrew. Excess. So cute. The seahorse. Duty. Oh, there's so many cards. Okay, let's let's skip some. The praying mantis, praying mantis, mindfulness. The poison frog, upheaval. The platypus, individuality. Where's the beak? <laughs> the pig. Indulgence. The pelican. Limitation. Thirsty. Coffee. I didn't finish my coffee this morning. The peacock. I think that's confidence. Yes. Confidence. The panda. Peace. The pack. Nice. Pack of wolves. Tribe. The otter, revelry, revelry, revelry. So cute, the otter. Okay, let's keep a few more. The monarch, butterfly, change. The meerkat, altruism, altruism, I believe you pronounce it. The manatee, compassion. Focus on the car, not on me. Yeah, if I hide my face, maybe it'll focus better. The macaw, identity. 
locust bib caution. Let's see, we are at 15 minutes. I think I should just show you just a few more. The howler monkey communication. The hound pursuit. The hive these harmony. The hippo conflict. The hermit crab sanctuary. The hedgehog with curiosity. The hawk messages. The hair abundance. The grizzly bear solitude. The great white shark power. The giraffe growth. The gazelle momentum. The garden snail isolation. Just a couple more. The blue well inspiration. The blowfly observation. The black swan. Love. The Bengal tiger. Vitality. The bat, intuition, the barn owl, wisdom, the albatross, discovery, and advark, resourcefulness. All right, let's um, shuffle the cards a little bit, and then we're going to read from the book, and then we're done. Let's see if I can shuffle them all since they thinner no nope. <laughs> shuffle as many as I can just a couple times and then we'll see how the book um, has the cards done Nice and bendable to shuffle, so it's not bad. I know um, we may have different understanding of the energies of these animals, but I do like to see what the authors have as interpretations for the animals. Oh, he's so slippery. Thin and slippery. Oh, I forgot to show you the backs of the card. It's almost like a tree, trunk or terrains seen from above. I don't know. <laughs> Terra Oracle, yeah, maybe. It was supposed to be an aerial view of the earth or earth plane somewhere. All right, what card should we? Okay, so we got the tardigrade. Tardigrade. The tardigrade. Here it is. Of course, the last thing that this makes me think of is the. Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. Which I haven't seen all of the episodes for. Okay, tardigrade. So let's see, does it have it broken down by pages? Yes, thank goodness, the table of contents. So it will be easy to find. Um, 
and because it's on so it's on page 184 this is an alphabetical order that helps 184 Sorry guys, just get my hair itches my face and my nose. Tardigrade, resiliency, and here's the meaning. So let's see what it says. So the top part says back to life. So we have four, uh, and then we have a quote. So we have four areas, back to life, the little things, shedding, then we have the ecosystem um, and then a, um, a quote. So back to life. The tardigrade shows up in your reading when you have to just roll with the punches. This creature might be the most resilient creature on earth. It verges on immortal. Put in, put in, put it in boiling temperatures, the deepest parts of the ocean. Even out of space, and this incredible creature keeps going. You are being warned of upcoming obstacles, but not so you can walk around with a life is in fear attitude. The tardigrade is pushing you to become indestructible, unstoppable, and unshakable. This card asks you to surprise yourself with your resiliency. As trials and tribulations come your way, use everything you've got to work through it. Resiliency is not allowing hardship in life to make you jaded or apathetic. Throwing in the towel isn't an option. So, so that's interesting. And then we have next portion. It's called the little things. Being resilient in is, isn't about walking around making a fuss. It's the little things. It's how we help ourselves. Uh, up when we when we are down it lies in our stance in our small talk in our daily choices the tardigrade defines little the animal is microscopic while they are large they are pervasive these water bears bears leave water bears leave, uh, live all over the world in all kinds of conditions small doesn't mean small impact the tardigrade indicates a time when you need to be able to see big picture, how everything will come together in the end. Being resilient doesn't require you to make a grand gesture. Your actions are greater than the sum of their parts. Work on creating small, healthy habits and thoughts that when put together amount to significant change. Yeah, each animal have their own little the sections are not the same. It's divided into the same section, ending with the ecosystem, but there's a little bit about, I guess, breaking down the larger message into smaller uh, message. So in this case, resiliency, you know, what is resiliency? What helps you be resilient? Um, so now this part here, shedding. It says, um, the tardigrade sheds an exterior cuticle like a snake sheds its skin. Uh, this process is necessary because this creature's epidermis doesn't grow larger, but, uh, but the tardigrade does. To keep growing, they need to leave their cuticle behind and grow a new one. Resiliency is springing back after adversity. It is leaving the past behind and moving forward despite what is lost shed what no longer serves you if something is weighing you down move forward without it uh, pare things down so they don't lie looming over your head uh, demanding attention I don't know what they mean by pair things down but shed them Take them down, I guess. Um, okay, you may be trying to carry too much. Pulling yourself up and continuing your journey will be easier with less weight on your back. And lastly, the ecosystem, the elements. 
The tardigrade can thrive in every element. The creature is comfortable amongst air, fire, water, and earth. Resiliency requires you to call upon your faculties uh, from thought to emotion. If you want to endure, you will need to be well-rounded. You must be able to adapt when each is called for. Don't get too hung up on one area in your life. When faced with an obstacle, use your brain and heart to get to the finish line. You aren't very resilient if you can only thrive under distinct circumstances. I don't know, it just seems kind of fitting for the COVID times that we're going through. All right, so the last little uh, quote here is never give up for this is just the place and time that tide will turn. So never give up for this is just the place and time that the tide will turn by Harriet Beecher Stowe. Yeah, so this is it. This is the book. So very interesting. Let's see what the TARDIS has to say here in the little booklet. Tardigrade, sorry, not TARDIS. <laughs> We are not on the Doctor Who. <laughs> the tardigrade resiliency, persistent recovery, rolling with the punches, unstoppable follow through. All right, this is it. I'm gonna make a couple more videos, show you some other oracles and some other decks that I haven't seen as much on uh, on YouTube, and um, we'll go from there. So thank you so much. Have a good day, be safe, and we'll chat soon. Bye.